Hey Smurr Beauty! So as requested by many of you, in today's video we're going to dive deep into everything you need to know about healthcare in the Philippines. So let's not waste any time and jump right into the topic. First you need to understand how the healthcare system works in this country. There are two main parts, the public and the private hospitals. Public hospitals usually found in the provinces give free health care to all Filipino citizens under PhilHealth. In fact, the Philippines was one of the first Asian countries to make a law for universal health care in 2019. This law aimed to ensure that all citizens receive essential health care services. So Filipino citizens get free health care and most foreigners working in the country must join PhilHealth as well. But even with free healthcare, the public healthcare system still has some problems. So some of the issues you might find in government-run hospitals include not having enough staff, old equipment, and outdated buildings. This often results from limited government funding and a high demand for healthcare services. Some public hospitals are the Philippine General Hospital in Manila, Hospital ng Manila Medical Center, Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center in Cebu, and Hospital ng Tondo. On the other hand, healthcare in big cities of the Philippines is good, but not so much in rural areas. The difference in quality is mainly due to the uneven distribution of resources and medical professionals. Although doctors in public hospitals are usually well-trained, the equipment and buildings might not be good enough for you. Now let's talk about private healthcare, which many of you might like more. Private hospitals give you access to special treatments, modern facilities, high-quality doctors, and hospitals with good equipment. These hospitals often invest in advanced technology and staff training, ensuring better patient outcomes. Even though these hospitals may be expensive for local people, foreigners usually find them cheap. But private hospitals are mostly in the big cities of the Philippines like Manila, Cebu City, and Davao. This concentration in urban areas makes it easier for them to attract top medical professionals and provide a wide range of services. For the best care, it's a good idea to choose private hospitals and live in or close to a big city. Some of the best hospitals in the Philippines are St. Luke's Medical Center in BGC, Makati Medical Center in Makati, Changhua in Cebu, and Cebu Doctors University Hospital, also in Cebu, among others. These hospitals are known for their excellent medical care, advanced facilities, and well-trained staff. It's important to know that only 30% of the people in the Philippines use the private system for their main health care, with about 60% of the hospitals in the country being private. This shows that while private healthcare is popular among expats and wealthier Filipinos, the majority of the population still relies on the public healthcare system. So let's discuss the cost of medical treatment, as there are many different types available. The average cost of a stay at a private hospital in the Philippines is around $30 per night. But if you require intensive care, the cost can rise to $600 per night. Keep in mind that these figures do not include additional expenses like doctor fees, laboratory fees, medication, and other incidental costs. If you factor in all these additional costs, an unplanned hospital visit could quickly deplete your travel savings. That's why it's essential to discuss health insurance options to ensure you are covered in case of any medical emergencies. So health insurance can vary significantly depending on the coverage you choose, and the cost of your plan depends on the type of insurance you select. There are two main types of insurance in the Philippines, the international insurance and local insurance. Most expats prefer international insurance because it offers more benefits and flexibility, especially if you need to travel to another country for medical treatment. And fortunately, the Philippines has many international insurance companies that cater to the needs of expats. But before we discuss private health insurance, it's worth mentioning that if you're looking for a more affordable option, PhilHealth is commonly used. 
The government-run program provides basic health coverage for Filipino citizens and expats working in the country, making it a cost-effective choice for those who need essential health care services. Keep in mind though that the coverage offered by PhilHealth may not be as comprehensive as the coverage you'd get from a private insurance. So public health care in the Philippines is managed by PhilHealth. For Philippine citizens, the cost of health insurance depends on their monthly salary. So in the Philippines, all salaries contribute 4% monthly to PhilHealth. For example, a 10,000 pesos salary contributes 400 pesos, while a 100,000 peso salary contributes 4,000 pesos per month. For foreign retirees, they must pay 15,000 pesos per month for field health coverage. Expats pay slightly more at 17,000 pesos per month for field health insurance. Lastly, dual citizens pay 3,600 pesos per month. With PhilHealth, you receive various benefits, including inpatient benefits. If you're admitted to a hospital for care, part of your total bill will be covered by PhilHealth as long as the hospital is a PhilHealth partner. Outpatient benefits are also available, with PhilHealth covering all or part of the costs of for day surgeries, hemodialysis, radiotherapy, and other primary care doctor consultations. So it's important to know that PhilHealth is a more affordable option and primarily caters to the public healthcare sector, meaning the insurance coverage may be limited. On the other hand, private health insurance may offer more comprehensive coverage but at a higher cost. Next on our list is GeoBlue. This healthcare plan is specifically designed for foreigners living in the U.S. or U.S. citizens residing abroad. They offer premium benefits, coverage, and services tailored to meet the unique healthcare needs of expats and international travelers. In order to find a price for GeoBlue insurance plans, you need to visit their website and request a quote. By providing your personal information and healthcare requirements, GeoBlue can create a customized plan for you that aligns with your specific needs. So in summary, GeoBlue is another excellent option for expats seeking comprehensive healthcare coverage while living or traveling, offering personalized plans that cater to the unique needs of expats and international travelers. We also have Alliance Care on our list of insurance. They offer multiple plans for you to choose from, catering to various healthcare needs and budgets. For example, their first plan is the blue plan, which costs 8,000 pesos per year. This plan covers 10,000 pesos with its increased illness benefit, in addition to a few other insured benefits. Next, there's the silver plan, which costs 10,300 pesos annually. The gold plan costs 12,800 pesos annually. And finally, the platinum plan costs 15,100 pesos annually. The Platinum Plan covers up to $40,000 with its increased illness benefit, along with other benefits. The prices for an annual plan vary depending on your age, so you can visit their website for more details and to find the plan that best suits your needs. This award-winning health insurance is considered to be among the best health insurance options in the Philippines. So in summary, Alliance Care provides a range of health insurance plans to cater to different healthcare requirements and budgets, making it an excellent option for those looking for comprehensive coverage in the Philippines. The next health insurance option is the Cigna Global Insurance Plan. Cigna Insurance is one of the first international insurance plans made available to Philippine expats. Whether you're in the US, Europe, or the Philippines, benefits with Cigna are available to you no matter where you go. This is particularly advantageous for expats or frequent travelers who need consistent healthcare coverage across different countries. And depending on your plan, you can get insurance coverage up to $5 million or more with Cigna. Cigna offers personalized plans to ensure that you get the coverage that best suits your healthcare requirements and lifestyle. If you visit Cigna's website, you'll find that you need to fill out your information, state your needs, and they'll provide you with a code specific to your situation. This personalized approach ensures that you only pay for the coverage you need 
making it flexible and potentially cost-effective option for expats living in the Philippines or those who travel frequently for work or leisure. Next, we have AXA Global Healthcare. We call it AXA. So AXA offers various levels of healthcare plans ranging from 500,000 pesos for low-end coverage to 5 million pesos for high-end coverage. Regardless of the level of coverage you choose, you will have access to private healthcare no matter where you go, as long as it's within access network of hospitals. This flexibility makes AXA Global Healthcare an attractive option for those who travel or move frequently, as they can rely on consistent healthcare coverage across different countries. And AXA's tiered coverage plans allow you to select the level of coverage that best suits your healthcare needs and budget, ensuring that you only pay for the coverage you require. So in conclusion, AXA Global Healthcare is a versatile option for those of you seeking international healthcare coverage, offering a range of plans to cater to varying healthcare needs and budgets while providing access to private healthcare facilities within their extensive network of hospitals. So there you have it, a basic overview of what you need to know about healthcare in the Philippines. We've covered various insurance plans, but if you'd like me to compile a list of the best hospitals in the Philippines, be sure to like this video and let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!